Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today this video I will be showing you the newest best 5 clothing glitches of all time in GTA 5 online and as the clothing glitches do get better in the video as they do go on but if you're new here like this video subscribe if you're new turn on the bell notification as well let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video for the first clothing glitch I will be showing you on how to get the firefighter gear on any saved outfit now make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go and make your way over to any clothing store on the map and you will need any top that lets you equip a utility vest on but don't worry the utility vest will disappear later on after the glitch ends now go over to the utility vest and equip the peach plate carrier and then you will need to make your way over to the front counter afterwards and once you're at the front counter, you will need to make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number one. And continue to stay at the front counter. And go over to the high school overalls. And buy any high school overalls that have a gas mask on like this. And now afterwards, you will need to make your way over to any telescope. So you could do the telescope glitch. Now, basically run past the telescope. Press right on the d-pad and pull away from the telescope. Open up the interaction menu and apply the saved outfit you just made once. Close your interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and you should see the gas mask merge onto your saved outfit like this. Now make your way over to the mask store once you're done. Now once you're at the mask store, make sure you override the saved outfit on slot number one. And this part's important, make sure you you apply the saved outfit you just made four times or five times very quickly so the outfit could save now afterwards open up your pause menu go over to online go over to jobs go over to play jobs go over to the rockstar created now go over to the missions and start up the mission called a tight end of a job and accept that alert that shows up on your screen afterwards now you should be loading into a job menu like this you could either start it with a friend or do this solo. Now, don't really mess with any of the settings. Just go over to confirm settings, push play, and accept the alert that shows up on your screen afterwards. And you should be loading into the actual job mission like this. And you should see no utility vest on, but a gas mask still. Now, make your way over to the nearest ammunition store on the map. And once you're there, go over to the outfit section and overwrite the saved outfit on slot number one. And back out from the outfit section afterwards. You will need to pull up your phone and quit the job through the job list through your phone like I did. And you should be loading into a random lobby like this. Now simply just make your way back over to the ammunition store. Go over to the outfit section. Go over to the diamond casino heist. Go over to the firefighter gear and purchase any of the first two firefighter gear. Now afterwards, back out from the... Now you will need to open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to jobs, and start up the mission called It's a G Thing. Now if you do not have that job available, there will be a link down below in the video description on how to bookmark it. Now once you do load into this job menu, make sure you put the clothing on player saved outfits and invite at least one person to help you out and once they do join just go over to confirm settings push play and launch the mission and you should be loading into a job menu like this on the owned outfits click one to the right and tell the person that is helping you readies up as well afterwards you should be loading into the actual job mission like this and you should see your saved outfit like this now wait about 10 to 15 seconds exactly now once that is over, go over to the jobs list on your phone and quit the job to the jobs list afterwards. And should be loading into a random lobby like this. Now go over to any street vehicle, register as secure reserve or MC, go over to the management, go over to the style on the MC or CEO. Now enter the vehicle and on the CEO or MC management style, click one to the right and one to the left. And now you should see you have the firefighter gear on your saved outfit like this. As long as you save this as an outfit, it will stick. 
And you can also put on gloves, put on a helmet or whatever you like. Now make sure you like this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get the yellow rebreather and you can put the yellow rebreather on any state outfit. Now you will need to go over to your arcade business and make sure you go over to the finale board. Now if you do not have the finale board or, or the arcade business tell a person in the comment section to help you out. And on the disguise make sure you put it on Buckstar before you start it. Now. Once you do start it, you should be loading into a job menu like this. Now this part is very important. On the outfit section where it says outfits, make sure you put it on the debugger and you should see the yellow rebreather on like this. Now basically both of y'all ready is up as well so the mission can start. Now, once you do launch it, you should be loading outside of the arcade business and you should see the yellow word breather on like this. Now afterwards, open up your interaction menu, go over to the style, go over to the illuminated clothing and spam right on the D-pad on illuminated clothing for roughly about two minutes straight and make sure the person that is helping you is basically just chill and does not do anything for the mission. Now once the 2 minutes is over after spamming right on the d-pad, now make sure you leave your interaction menu open to get kicked for being AFK. Now it depends on which console you are on, it might take a while, but once you do get kicked, you should be loading into a random lobby and you should see you have the yellow word breather on like this. Now just unregister as secure serve or MC whatever. And now you will need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. And basically just save this as an outfit on any slot. It doesn't matter which slot it is. Now afterwards you will need to go over to the hat section. Now on the hat section go over to the beanies. And choose the first one the no hat. And you should see the yellow will be there on like this. Now we are not done yet. You will need to make your way over to any telescope. So we could do the telescope glitch. Now simply just do the telescope glitch and basically you will need to open up your interaction menu afterwards and apply the outfit that you want the yellow rebreather on right now only once and close the interaction menu afterwards and walk away from the telescope and you should see the yellow and black rebreather transferred over to your saved outfit like this. As long as you save this as an outfit you will be able to customize it. Now like this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get the yellow and black duffel bag. Now this duffel bag is really cool. Now you can put this on any saved outfit, just make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go and register as a care reserve and make your way over to your arcade business. And it doesn't matter which location it is, the clothing glitch will still work. Now go over to the heist prep board and start up the mission called the Vault Drills. It should be on the top right. Now if you do not have that one available, you must have the approach on the big con. Now once you do start it up, you should be loading into the job mission like this. There will be two duffel bags. So basically on the two duffel bags, you will need to deliver the first duffel bag off. And basically, if you do die during the mission, don't worry, the clothing glitch will still work. I died multiple times in this video, but I just basically edited it out. Now, once you do pick up the first duffel bag and deliver it, make your way back over to the second duffel bag and pick it up. And you will need any sort of flying vehicle and make your way over to the arcade business. Now you will need to jump out of your flying vehicle and open up your parachute and basically ragdoll into the yellow marker so it could teleport you slash put you into the arcade business. Now if you do not have a flying vehicle you can always do it with a ray gun just shoot the ground near the yellow marker and it should launch you into the yellow destination marker. Now once you're inside of the arcade business just leave the arcade business afterwards and unregister as a reserve and make your way over to the nearest ammunition store 
on the map. Now go over to the front counter, go over to the parachutes, go over to the parachute bags, and you will need to purchase the Israel troop bag. It should be a white and blue one. Now back out from the front counter and equip it onto your interaction menu like I'm doing. And for some odd reason, I always go with this one because it always works, so you know. Now make your way over to the master with any sort of flying vehicle. Now fly really high like this. Jump out of your flying vehicle afterwards. You will need to open up your parachute. And basically, where the masts that are sitting on top of the shelf, that's where you need to ragdoll into. So once you ragdoll into that part, make sure you spam right on the D-pad till the mast door opens up for you. And once it does, you will need to basically save this as an outfit on any slot. It doesn't matter which one you do it as. Now, after you save this as an outfit, you will need to back out from the mask store and apply the saved outfit we just made. And you should see the yellow and black duffel bag appear on your saved outfit like this. Now, if you did mess up on the parachute landing and it did not save, or you just messed up in general on the parachute launch, just basically get in the flying vehicle and just re-jump again. Now if it did work, just like this video, subscribe if you're new, and let's move on to the last clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get the FIB badge, and you can put the FIB badge on any saved outfit. Just make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go, and register as secure reserve, and then make your way over to your arcade business. And you will need to go over to the Heights prep board and find the picture of Lester and start up the mission called the hacking device and launch the mission. You will be spawning outside of the arcade business and you should spawn in with a suit. Now if you did not spawn in with a suit, just basically restart the mission to you spawn in with the suit. It might take a few tries. Honestly, I always get the suit on my first try somehow. But if you did spawn in with the suit, Wait for Lester to stop talking and make your way over to any ammunition store on the map. Now once you're at the ammunition store, make your way over to the outfit section and select the saved outfit that you want the FIB badge on right now. Now you will need to back out from the outfit section and make your way over to the yellow destination marker. And if you do die during the glitch, don't worry, the clothing glitch will still work. Now, once you're there, you will need to kill off every single agent that's there. And it should say to pick up a security pass and find the body. Just press right on the D-pad and you should see the security pass appear on your saved outfit like this. Now, this part is optional. You could either go over to the ammunition store and save this as an outfit and finish the mission or you could save this as an outfit and quit out the mission so you could always have the fib badge mission available now like this video let's get this video up to 100 likes so i could drop another version of this video subscribe if you're new and catch you on the next gta 5 online video peace